Welcome to part 2 of how to choose a career when you have too many career options. Now I'm going to present the exact process you can use when you have too many career options and you have to pick one. Step 1. Make a deadline for deciding which career or experiment to try first. Remember Parkinson's law. Work expands as to fill the time available for its completion. Which means that the more time you give yourself, the more time you're gonna use and still achieve the same thing. Step 2. Make a list of what you enjoy. So here you can ask yourself questions such as What subjects could I read 500 books about without getting bored? What would I do if I had all the money I would ever need? What did I enjoy as a child? And think of a really exciting day in the past. What were you doing? And what am I curious about? What are you doing when you lose track of time? What makes you feel alive? These questions are all useful, but the only way to be 100% certain about whether you enjoy doing something or not is to actually do it and see how you react. Step 3. Make a list of your core values. Here you can ask yourself questions such as How do I behave? Who do I admire and why? And imagine you could start your life over again. What values would you live your life by? And remember, you don't have to be absolutely clear about your values right now, since you'll get to know them through experience. Step 4. Make a list of what kind of work conditions you prefer. Here you can ask yourself questions such as How important is money? What kind of lifestyle should the career be able to support? Do you want to do indoor or outdoor work? Do you want to talk with people, use your hands or sit behind a computer? Is job security important to you? Do you want to have your own business or work for somebody else? Is an opportunity for growth important to you? Do you thrive in a high stress environment? And keep in mind that it will be much easier for you to answer these kind of questions when you have actually started your career. And step 5. Make a list of your skills. So you can ask yourself, what comes easy to me? What am I doing when I lose track of time? What made me stand out as a child? What do people compliment me on? Which things does other people ask me to help them with? What makes me feel strong? What comes naturally to me? I can also recommend taking the strength finder test to find your strengths. But remember that you don't have to be an expert right now. You need a growth mindset which means that you believe you can improve if you practice. It's also again important to remember that the best way of knowing what your strengths are is to actually do things and see what you're good at. So now you should have a list of what you enjoy, a list of your core values, a list of what work conditions you prefer, and a list of your skills. And if you feel like you could add more to them, then you can Google common passions, core values, skills, and so on to get inspired. Or you could ask your friends to evaluate what they think your core values, passions, skills, and so on are to get another perspective. And you can take self-assessment tests online, for example the Big Five or the one on careerexplorer.com. And don't worry if you're not sure about everything on your list. Most people don't know that much about themselves. The only way to know more about yourself for sure is to test and get some real world experience. Step 6. Make a list of careers that seem aligned with your list of what you enjoy, your list of your core values, the work conditions you prefer and your skills. And if you can't think of anything, you can see which careers are recommended to you when you take self-assessment tests or you can find a list of careers online and see which ones seems interesting. Step 7. Get more clarity on the careers on your list 
and remove those that seem less aligned with what you want. You can start by removing those you're sure you can remove. For example, if you don't want to sit on the computer for more than one hour every day, then you can drastically reduce your options. And if you want to work from home, you can remove all careers where that isn't possible. And if you want to start your own business, then you can remove all those that don't support that. If you want more clarity on the careers on your list before you eliminate anything, then you can talk to people in those professions or job shadow them, you can research the careers, you can look at concrete job offers, you can talk with a career counselor, friends, career coach or someone else to get more clarity, or you can journal. And getting clarity this way will also help you later when you have to make the final decision. Step 8. Make sure fear or limiting beliefs don't hold you back from pursuing something you want. To find your fears, you can simply ask yourself, what am I afraid of? And to find your limiting beliefs, you can ask yourself, if I don't believe I can become good at this career, then why do I think that way? And now for your fears, you can simply define the worst case scenarios and that way maybe realize it's something you can live with. And for your limiting beliefs, you can ask yourself questions such as Where does this belief come from? What would this belief look like from another person's perspective? What would be some counterexamples to this belief? What price do I pay for having this belief? What is another belief that might be more accurate? Step 9. Decide which career to pursue or an experiment to try. Okay, now it's finally time to pull the trigger. So now you can either choose the first career you want to try or run an experiment to test some of your core values, skills, passions or preferred working conditions. If you can try the career without committing to a lot, then it's probably best to run some experiments first so you can verify if you actually want that career before you invest too much into it. But wait. How do you make the final decision on which career to try out first? You can either use your rational mind and weight up the pros and cons, or you can go with your gut instinct. Several studies have shown that your rational mind is better for simple decisions, while your gut instinct is better for complex decisions where you can't easily compare all available information. I'll make another video that describes more about when you should listen to your gut instinct and when you should use your rational mind. And finally, you can ask yourself, would I regret this decision on my deathbed? And if you wouldn't, then it's time to try it. And now finally it's time for step 10. If you found your ideal career, then that's great, otherwise go back to step 1. But how can you know if you found your ideal career? These are some of the signs that you have picked the right thing. You look forward to getting to work. Or at least you don't experience the Sunday blues. You may even experience flow. You feel alignment. If people ask you, do you like your career? Then you're not hesitant to say yes. You want to become good at what you do. Time flies away quickly when working. You feel engaged. You talk happily about work outside work. Well, does that always mean you should quit your career if you don't experience those things? Here are some exceptions. So maybe you just need to give it some more time. Maybe it will be more fun when you're more competent. Maybe you just picked something that is too difficult as a beginner. If you read Be So Good They Can't Ignore You by Carl Newport, then you'll know that you need career capital, which is rare and valuable skills, in order to satisfy your free universal psychological needs of autonomy, competence and relatedness, which are the things that will make you happy in a career. And maybe you're just in the wrong company. And remember, all people have bad days and no career is fun all the time. And also remember, the grass is always greener on the other side. 
But if you've considered all these things and still want to do something else, then just go back to step one. Update your list of what you enjoy, your personal values, what work conditions you prefer and your skills. Make a new list of careers. Get the clarity on them and eliminate those that are less aligned with what you want. Then make sure fear and limiting beliefs don't hold you back. Decide on a new career or experiment to try. And if you found your ideal career, then that's great. Otherwise, just repeat the process. Thank you for watching. Comment below what you want the next video to be about. And if you want more quick insights on how to live a good life, then remember to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notified when new videos come out.